guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be doing a makeup challenge where a number generator picks out the colors for my eyeshadow. So I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette today, and we're going to be using the number generator four times for the crease, the lid, the lower lash line, and the inner corner. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully it doesn't come out too crazy, and we're going to start with my face makeup. So I'm going to be starting off with my eyebrows. I'm using NYX Fill and Fluff in the shade Chocolate. So after I get done filling in my eyebrows, I go in with Boreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer in the shade Ivory, and I just put that underneath my eyebrows to clean them up. So for my foundation, I use Maybelline 24 Hour Superstay in the shade Natural Ivory. So then once my foundation is applied, I just go back in with my concealer. And then to set my face, I'm just going to be using some cornstarch. So once my face is set, I go in with the e.l.f. eyebrow gel just to keep my brows in place. My next step is my eyes. So I have the number generator up and there's 35 shades in the Jaclyn Hill palette. So it has minimum one, maximum 35. So I'm going to hit generate and see what we get for the crease. 34. Ooh. <laughs> so 34 is this really dark shade all the way at the end. So that's going to be my crease. 
I'm honestly really scared to start this. This is a really dark color. So here we go. Okay, so I just finished my crease and it's really dark so I'm hoping the lid is a little bit of a brighter color. So I'm going to hit generate and see what we get. Nine, so. So for nine, it's going to be this kind of orangey tan color. So. I guess we're just gonna go in. <laughs> So I just finished my lid and these colors aren't too bad together. It's something I probably wouldn't do on a normal basis, but we're going to go back into the number generator and see what it chooses for my lower lash line. And we got 29. And 29 is this blue color right here. So we're just going to pop that right into my lower lash line. So the look is definitely getting a little bit crazier with this blue, but we still have one more to do and it's the inner corner. So I'm just gonna use the number generator one more time and see what we get. 14. So 14 is this gold color right here. So we're gonna pop that into the inner corner. So the eyeshadow is complete thanks to the number generator. Um, the look isn't that crazy. I think the only thing that's really out there is the blue, but even that's not too bad. So I'm just going to finish up the look with some eyeliner. I'm going to use the e.l.f. gel eyeliner in black. So then I'm going to be throwing on some eyelashes, but before that I'm going to go in with Scandalize Volume Flash Mascara, just as a base. Okay. 
And for eyelashes, I'm gonna be using the Phone Mink ones from Ardell. is dry I'm gonna finish up the rest of my makeup I'm gonna go in with rough on color stay powder in the color fair So then I'm going to go in with some bronzer and today I am using Hula Benefit. So after the bronzer, I'm going to go in with blush and I'm just going to be using Tarte in the shade Blissful. And then I'm just going to go in with some highlighter. I'm using Jordan Lip Scum's Trooper Palette. I'm going to be using this color right here. And to finish off the look, I'm going to be using NYX lip liner and lipstick in the color Nude Beige. And to set it all in place, I'll be using the e.l.f. Dewy Setting Mist. So I just wanted to show you guys up close a little bit more how it turned out. It turned out pretty well. The look for the most part is pretty neutral except for the blue underneath the eye and it gives it a nice pop of color. I had so much fun creating this look for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!